buying a brand new car is a very special moment. That fantastic feeling of driving down the road in something so virginal, you know it's only been touched by the claw of a robot. That brand new smell. The odometer in single figures, the door pockets free from boiled sweets and fluff. But often that joy can be subverted. There can be one nagging doubt. That the blow-dried villain in white socks and Chelsea supporter face who sold you the car has come out of the deal better than you have. <laughs> but take heart, because it is now safe to go into that showroom because Top Gear is here to help. Here follows the definitive guide to buying a brand new car. Rule number one, preparation. Rush into the showroom with no idea what you want and a less than scrupulous dealer will play on your indecision, beleaguer you with banter and send you away with something you didn't want at a price you can't afford. So make doubly sure you know what you want. Get hold of brochures, check on the specs for the kind of car you fancy, read all the relevant road tests and be prepared to change your mind if everything you read tells you it's a dog. Make notes so you don't forget all your research when the salesman flashes those pearly whites. And if you know someone who already has the model you're considering, canvas their opinion. For the cost of some nosh, you can learn a lot. And remember, actually talking to someone who owns and drives your chosen car every day can tell you an awful lot more than the inane ramblings of a 22-year-old motoring journalist who's borrowed it for the afternoon. Excuse me, can we have the bill, please? Rule number two, visiting the showroom. Don't be scared, you're the buyer and you've got the cash. Don't faff or they'll fleece you. Remember, the sales team want your cash, so make them work for it and don't let them forget the customer is always right. Stay calm and you'll stay in control. When you think you've found the car of your dreams, give it a thorough going over. Check everything from the panel fit to the door pocket. Take your fine tooth comb to the showroom and use it. You're about to spend a lot of money and they won't give you a refund if next week you decide you don't like the radio. You'll only really be sure this car is for you once you've driven it, so rule three is the test drive. Make sure you get one and not just to spin round the block. Insist on at least 20 minutes driving in town and on open roads. You'll get a better idea of whether this car suits you and you can be sure it doesn't have a hernia-inducing clutch or bum-biting seats. And if you can, take a friend along because that'll even up the odds two against one. And if your friend knows what they're doing, all the better, because then they'll be able to sniff out any verbal manure at 200 yards. Rule number four, negotiate. Never pay the full price. This is where batting begins, not finishes. Most dealerships work on a 10% margin, which of course they will try and conceal from you. But if you want to save plenty of pounds, stay in control and chip away at that margin relentlessly. Remember, if the dealer is refusing to crumble, walk away, but make sure he's got your number. If he thinks the potential punter has just walked out the door, you can bet he'll be on the blower to bargain. Rule number five, sweeteners. Free optional extras, accessories and gifts may be used to sweeten the deal, but be suspicious. Nothing in life is free, so don't accept if they eat away at your discount. That said, manufacturers sometimes concoct special editions which may offer more equipment for the same money. You get a few extra toys and you can still haggle that price down. Rule number six, part exchanging. It may look easy, it may look convenient, but it is the lazy way. They'll blind you with science, there will be a taking down of the undergarments and you will lose money. Much, much better to sell the car yourself privately beforehand and then waltz into the showroom holding the folding. So, you bargained for England and got yourself a good deal. Now, all you have to do is inspect the order form and make sure the agreed price is clearly marked before you sign. And when your new car arrives, check it thoroughly. If anything's out of order, reject it. Under the Sale of Goods Act, it must be of satisfactory quality, and if it isn't, just leave it where it is. If, on the other hand, everything is cushy and you are absolutely delighted with your purchase, then you can start doing all those things you've been dreaming of. Mm. 